Okay, here we have the gas laws. For example, Boyle's law, where the number of particles and the temperature is constant. And then we have Charles' law, where the number of particles, the pressure is constant. And then finally, the pressure law, where the volume and the number of particles is constant. And what happens if these things aren't, some of these things aren't constant, they're all changing? Well, we can put these equations together to come up with an even more useful equation, which is the ideal gas equation. They come in two um, forms, depending on what you're looking for. So if you're looking for number of particles or moles, um, and they both have a different constant. So here you have the Boltzmann constant, and then here we have the um, gas constant. Okay, so determine the volume of one mole of gas at room temperature, 25 degrees Celsius and uh, atmospheric pressure of 101 kilopascals. So we need to make sure we're using the correct units for all of this. So because it's giving me moles, I'm gonna use the equa this equation over here. So if I put those in, so I get pressure is 101,000 pascals. So multiply that by 1,000. Volume, which is what I'm trying to find. The moles is one times the gas constant, 8.31 times the temperature which has to be turned into Kelvin. Now if I solve for V and get 0 0.025 meters cubed. Okay, in this question they've asked us to find the number of atoms. And they've given us the volume. So I'm going to use this equation over here. Um, so I need to be careful though, this volume is currently in centimeters cubed. So I need to convert that into meters cubed. So if I wanted to convert centimeters to meters, I'd normally divide by 100. But because it's a volume and it's got that cubed, I need to cube the conversion factor as well. That will give me 3.3 times center minus 4 meters cubed. So I'm going to put these into the equation. Uh, so I'm just going to do PV over KT. Ensuring they're all in the right units. And using brackets here. And if I solve that, I should get 8.4 times into 21 atoms or particles in this gas. Okay, show that the density of the ideal gas can be written as rho equals P molar mass over uh, gas constant times temperature. So we know density is mass over volume. And you can see this equation has got the R in it. So we're probably going to have to use this one over here. So I'll write that out. PV equals NRT. So I also know that N, well, I need M and MR. So I'm going to use N equals M over MR. So if I put that in, get PV equals MRT over MR. But the thing is, I want density, so I'm going to have to do mass divided by volume. So I'm going to divide both sides by the volume. I'm going to bring the MR to the other side to make it a bit easier. And I'm going to divide this by the volume. So you can see there. Now this here, that there is the density. So this simplifies to pressure times molar mass equals density, gas constant, temperature, and which rearranges to pressure molar mass over RT. Okay, the molar mass of a gas is 0.032 kilograms per mole. Determine the density of a gas at 30 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 50 kilopascals. So just I'm just going to put the numbers into this question here. 50 kilopascals times the molar mass, 0.032 kilograms per mole. Gas constant and temperature in Kelvin. That gives me 0 0.64 kilograms per meters cubed. 